Boy, did I step in a pile of shit when I went after the truther movement. The ironic thing is, I, I, I actually agree with a lot of what you're saying. I, I, uh, what the truthers are saying, there are powerful people uh, with lots of money and lots of influence trying to extend their influence and protect what they think is the best path. Uh, everybody wants to do this. Everybody in power is going to do this to a certain point. Even you truthers. If you were to say, uh, win a trillion dollars, you would do what you could to, to do and make others do or show others the best path. That's human. You have some influence. You think your ideas are better than everyone else's. So you pr try and push them forward. Perfectly natural. Beyond that, uh, the, the type of people getting together and and having evil overlords wringing their hands. <laughs> That's a cartoon. Grow up. That doesn't happen. There's Nobody's going to do evil things just for the sake of evil. People are doing what they think is best for other people. Whether or not they're correct or not. Uh, it's That's beside the point. They're not evil people doing evil things. Get over it. The, the actual gist of what I wanted this video to be about was I've had several comments on my Hitler example. And, you know, when I was doing it, I knew I shouldn't. I really did. Uh, but just to clarify, I was using Hitler as a generic bad guy. I didn't have one at the top of my head, so I used the word Hitler. It's a name that everybody associates with evil and bad, so I was using him as just a generic bad guy. Uh, I, nothing to do with Jews, nothing to do with the hate, all the other political blah that comes along with Hitler. I wasn't doing that. I just used a generic bad guy's name. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll think of another one. Uh, evil Squid Lips Malone is ruling the world but it doesn't have the same punch. So uh, I will do my best to refrain from using Hitler as an example. And it was a weak metaphor to begin with. I understand that, but guess what? Everyone that commented on it, got it. You understood exactly what the argument I was making was, and you ignore it. You went over the fact that it was a weak one. Why don't you just get the idea of what I was saying and argue that idea? instead of just criticizing how weak it was, as far as a metaphor goes. Yawn. Oh, and on a side note, I will probably be getting to a couple of the other comments here and there. Most of them, the ad hominem, name calling, uh, I don't care. Uh, some of the other arguments that actually have some basis in reality, uh, and will affect what people think I'll be getting back to, I think, uh, depending on my schedule. So uh, thank you, everyone, for watching.